I'm amazed. Oh, I'm trying not to cry right now. I just found my storage unit like this. So, it's not great right now. <sighs> All right, where do I begin? Last Wednesday, April 12th, I was having an especially good day. I stopped by my storage unit to drop off some things <sighs> to discover my unit broken into. I couldn't tell immediately because the door had just been pulled open so that the bar that holds the door um, in place by sliding through the wall was just bent. And whoever broke into it just pushed it back. So it looked like it was fine upon first glance. I happen to be recording myself for my close friend story on Instagram, which just has my Patreon members on it. Can you guys believe that I have made a YouTube video every week for the last four weeks? <laughs> I'm amazed. Oh. And you can see my reaction as I start to like notice things that are off about the door. Oh. I think somebody tried to break into my... Okay, this is going to be a real moment of truth, and you guys are seeing it in real time right now. Oh my god. It doesn't look good. Oh my god. It's not flush with the wall. It was slightly raised up top, which it's normally not like that. So I noticed that. Didn't think a lot about it, but I was like, huh. So I look down, see that the locking mechanism is bent inward and I just gave myself a minute before I opened it I just wanted to kind of digest what I was about to discover and I really was just hoping that it wasn't going to be worst case scenario I was hoping that it wasn't going to be empty or near empty so I pulled the door open without removing the lock While I did that, it really started to hit me. Like I was almost in a state of shock. Okay. <sighs> I recorded myself, I continued to record myself so you can see. <laughs> You can kind of tell what I was going through. While I did feel a lot of defeat and pain from the confirmation that somebody had been through my storage unit and had taken things, I also felt some relief to find that most of my things were still in there. I was so grateful, so grateful that it wasn't empty. I see some of the things that I still have, and that, that's nice. <sighs> I kept posting on my close friend story, just talking to my Patreon members to kind of like help me not feel alone in what I was going through since I, I was alone there and I didn't have anyone to vent to and cry to, so I did that on my close friend story which look like this. I was having a really f***ing good day. It's fine. It could definitely be worse. But what the f***? It was a time. I was going through it. I cleaned everything up, organized, cried some more. It sucks. There's my sh** everywhere and slightly moved forward emotionally from the things that I had at that time remembered were gone, realized were gone. And I went downstairs to talk to the employee at the front desk. 
What's your name? Nikita Crump. Come in. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. But <clears throat> what's your unit number? 408. There's another one that I found too, 415. I can't shut it. Were you guys able to see who it was on the cameras? What happened was, well, we, we counted 15, but there, is, is your, is your, your hasp is on there. This uh, whole thing, right? Yeah, they just pulled it forward until it, it bent. Off. The woman there let me know that there was quite a few units broken into. I wasn't the only one. I wasn't targeted, which at first I thought was the case. And I was like, why me? Why this small unit? Did they take anything? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay, so um, this is your orange store insurance. So who you call with the stuff? She advised me to file a police report, which I just did online. Um, I've gotten a lot of comments on other social medias that are like, why didn't you call the cops immediately? That's because when you are in a bigger city, you don't call 911 for things like this. You go online and you file a report there. She also gave me information for the insurance that I had on the unit. Please stay on the line and your call will be answered in the order it was received. I'm still waiting to see how they will help me. I don't know yet. Time will tell. So I'm wondering now, though, aside from police report and the insurance, what do I do? Because my unit won't close. Well, we're going to have to. Somebody can just break it back open. Yeah. She helped me move to a new unit since mine I could not. I couldn't stay in mine. <laughs> okay, right here. Oh. Okay. I think it's the best one for you so far. Yeah, I think so too. So I'm moving storage units for right now. I'm probably gonna move out of here completely in the next few days, um, but I can't be in this unit right now. And even if they could fix the door, I don't think I would wanna be in this unit. I just, no thank you. <laughs> so I've gotta move all of this shit to another unit on a different floor, far away. And then probably move it again when I move out like tomorrow or the next day. I'm feeling a lot better. Oh man. Okay. I mean, obviously it all still sucks <laughs> and I'm having to do deal with this shit. I've already been here for like an hour or something. I don't even know, quite a while. It just didn't sit right with me for me to continue to rent from this facility, even though it is that I know of the safe safest type of storage unit to rent. It's indoors, you have to have a code to get into the parking lot, a code to get into the door, a code through another door, and then, of course, the units themselves are locked. So it's about as safe as it gets, to my knowledge, when it comes to storage facilities, but I just, I, I couldn't. Emotionally, I was like, I can't, I can't stay here. So two days later, I went back and vacated my unit and I crossed paths with a different employee there. I was hoping that he would be a little more clear-headed to be able to stay on topic when I ask him questions because the first employee, while she was super sweet and wanted to help me, she was a little bit scatterbrained. So sometimes I would ask her questions and she would sort of half answer them and get distracted and ask me a question about something and then we would go off into that topic and I would even revisit some questions and I would hardly get any further before she would do the same thing again. So when I ran into another employee, I was like, let me ask him some things. I don't know how much I trust their investigation. That said, he told me he couldn't tell me everything, so maybe it's just the lack of information that I have that makes it seem that way. But they think that they found the person. He told me he couldn't tell me anymore because they were in some legal works and just, he couldn't disclose 
some information to me, but that they were on to something and taking action. Thankfully, I was able to take my stuff from that facility to a friend's garage temporarily. Um, I'll just be keeping it there for two, three months until I figure out something more independent and long-term. As for the stuff that was taken, they took quite a few things that had a decent amount of monetary value, and that sucks, definitely. My power station, an 80 liter backpack that was full of climbing gear, my skateboard, a carry-on suitcase full of memorabilia from my travels, a box of pottery that I made in a class in Thailand while I was backpacking there for a month. I had to do a lot to get that stuff shipped to the US and I was very excited once it arrived and I packaged it up so carefully before I put it away and I was really looking forward to displaying that stuff in my van once it's done. But worst of all, they took things of even more sentimental value to me, things that really, um, it's gonna take me a while to get over. Maybe I'll never get over it. They took a, like, decorative vase that my grandma gave me last year, and she really harped on me about keeping it safe, about how fragile it was and how important it was. But the one item, the one item that I'm really upset about, if I could have a single thing back, it would be this. My Nana's jacket. <laughs> um, she wore it all the time. That jacket was the thing that meant the most to me. I have really treasured that jacket, but what can you do, you know? I filed that police report and I'm waiting to see what the insurance will do for me. I want to add a quick little sort of side note that this is something that anyone can experience. Whether you live in a traditional home, a trailer, a car, a van, whatever it may be, home invasions happen car break-ins happen, storage unit break-ins happen, there's just no way to fully remove yourself from that risk. And the reason I mention that is because I had one person comment some ugly thing um, saying they had no sympathy for me because that's what I get for not living in a home. So I just want to point out how absolutely silly that thought process is. It can happen to anyone. And I say that to say, somebody might view a video like this and be like, oh, I can't live in a van or no one should live in a van because they're then at risk of invasion. Those things aren't exclusive for people who live in vehicles. Anyway, <sighs> that's all I have for you guys this week. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for your kind words. If you DM'd me, if you sent me a comment, or anything like that. I value that support. <sighs> Alright. I'll see you guys in the next one.